Okay, uh, so the next thing we're going to look at right here is the positive and negative uh, trigonometric ratios. Now, this looks really, really scary and confusing. Um, this is actually supposed to be like this. I'm going to tell you guys the really, really important things that we need to take from this, and it actually really, really decomplicates a lot of this. So the first thing to look at is if you see those ratios that are written right there, we had already talked about those. The big important thing is the whole idea of first quadrant one, two, three, four. And the second most important thing to take from this is if we scroll down, because of the way that we have the ratios and since in quadrant one, both X and Y are positive, quadrant two, Y is positive and X is negative, Quadrant 3, both are negative, and quadrant 4, uh, x is positive, y is negative, we get what we call the cast rule, C-A-S-T. Now, you see right here, add, add sugar to coffee. Or there's a lot of different ways we could do it. My personal favorite version is saying it's the C-A-T-S, or it's the kitty cat ratio. Just draw a little kitty cat. And that's a terrible kitty cat, but hopefully it brings a little bit of happiness to your day. So what this means right here, all the ratios are positive. Sine, cos, tan, secant, cosecant, and cotan are all going to be positive in this quadrant. In this quadrant right here, only sine is positive. So sine is positive and cosecant are positive, but cos tan, secant, and cotan are all going to be negative right there. We look at the tangent ratio positive right here. That means the tan is the only thing positive in this quadrant. So tan and cotan are positive, and the rest of them are negative. Finally, cosine ratio is positive, um, that tells me that the cosine's positive and secant's positive, but the rest of them are going to be negative. And this is the really, really important thing that we want to take from this. So moving on, in which quadrant is sine theta less than zero, or rather negative, and tan theta greater than zero or positive? So I go C, A, S, T, or the cast rule. And we want to look, sine is negative, so sine has to be negative, that means we're in either quadrant uh, 3 or 4. And tan is positive, so that tells me I'm either going to be in quadrant 1 or 4. Oh, both the check marks fall in quadrant 4, so that, or quadrant 3, sorry. So that means we're in quadrant 3. Whew. I am going to need to draw this here just so I remember myself. Silly stuffer. In which quadrant is cos theta greater than zero and tan theta less than zero? Uh, so we'll just switch up and we'll use a different color right here. I loves me that purple. Which quadrant is cos theta greater than zero? So it's greater than zero or positive in four and one and tan theta is negative in two and four. So this means that we're going to be in quadrant four right there. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to look at this next question right here. And this next question is actually combining um, the castor rule and the positivity and negativity with those ratio questions that we were looking at before. So given the cos theta equals root five over four and 3, root, 3 pi by 2 is less than theta, or is less than or equal to 2 pi, find the exact values of the other trigonometric ratios. Sorry, I'm stumbling on my words a bit here. So, I again draw this out. So we remember we go 0, pi by 2, uh, pi, 3 pi by 2, and 2 pi. So if we're between 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi, that means that I'm going to be in quadrant 4. So I'm going to draw my triangle first. Now, we have the cos theta equals root 5 over 4. So cos theta is adjacent over the hypotenuse. So here I get my root 5, and there I get my 4. So far, so good. We haven't really changed too much in this question. Now, the next piece that I have to look at is I need to find out what my y value is going to be. So it's just going to be the square root 
of 4 squared minus root 5 squared, which would equal the square root of 16 minus 5, which would equal the square root of 11. Now, here's where it gets tricky. We look and we see that that's going to be negative root 11. Okay? Because we're in that quadrant 4, the y value has to be negative there. From here, um, it's pretty much going to be plug and play with the rest of the questions that we have looked up up until this point. I'm just going to quickly write out all of my ratios here. So my sine theta is, is uh, opposite over hypotenuse, which is negative root 11 over 4. My cos theta I had before, root 5 by 4. And tan theta is opposite over adjacent, so negative root 11 all over root 5. And then from here, all that we do is reciprocate, negative 4 over root 11, 4 over root 5, and negative root 5 over root 11. Uh, given the tenth equals 3 over 5, and again, or in this case, we're in that quadrant 3, because if we look, again, 0, pi by 2, pi, 3 pi by 2, and 2 pi, between pi and 3 pi by 2 is telling me I'm in quadrant 3. Then I have that my tan theta is going to be equal to opposite over adjacent, so 3 over 5. But wait, they both have to be in negative values because I'm in that quadrant 3. So then I use my incredible powers of mathematics and the Pythagoras theorem to find out what my other side is going to be. So this is going to give me 25 plus 9, or this will give me the square root of 34. Uh, quickly thinking about the square root of 34, there's nothing that I can take out of that. Thinking about it, no. So then we get square root 34 right there. So now I have my sine theta, my cos theta, my tan theta, as well I have my cosecant theta, my secant theta, and my cotan theta. From here, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, which will give me negative 3 over, whew, I really got ahead of myself on that one, which will give me negative 3 over root 34. My cos theta is adjacent, or negative 5 over root 34. Uh, from there, we know that the tan already is 3 over 5. Then I just quickly reciprocate everything. And voila. Uh, we're going to just quickly whip through a couple more examples. This video is getting a bit long, though, so I'm going to do the examples in the next video.